stuff like you. Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my grown extended beautiful family. You know, I hope everything is coming good for you. I know we've been going through so many different shifts. Lord have mercy. And I hope you got whatever they need to, you know, you clear out whatever you need to clear out and aiming towards things that you're truly working hard for to come you know in the future so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are um uh comfortable enough i don't know why i got stuck on that comfortable enough you know please uh, drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just telling me about your impact the gift and how it impact your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um today my meditation music is eight eight hours of sleep music calming music music for stress relief uh relaxation music and sleep music and i will post that link in the description box below and my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas know that the battle you have been fighting is coming to a peaceful resolution it truly is all these shifts that we're going on us allowing ourselves to release a lot of things and you know we've been working diligently on things that we're really trying to manifest in our life and it just always seems like the more you stay positive the more crazy chaos that keeps coming around you and that's okay because everything the way I'm feeling it from my situation is like, what is it? I am oh my opinion. You know, I feel like a lot of things are coming at you because they're coming towards the surface. You just make peace with everything, you know, because a lot of times we could be so stressed out. It looks like, dog, as soon as I get around this corner, here comes another thing or here comes another thing. And it's like everything is like even old patterns. It's like everything coming to the surface. It's just like, matter of fact, good metaphor you know like if you use those masks on your face which is painful as hell to get off just like anything that we go through in life to be able to see it for what it is can be very painful you know and it's just the universe is trying to allow you to make peace with that situation Me being able to make peace to let it go you know there's a lot of things that i'm going through you know and it just seems like it's like one thing after another after another and i get frustrated at times i ain't even gonna lie to y'all you know i keep it real you can't be positive every day you know like i already feel like very apprehensive when the universe want me to talk about negative situations like false people you know people showing their true colors to you i don't like talking about stuff like that but if universe wants to call that to my attention it's like look a lot of people are going through a lot of things go ahead and talk about this you know you're going through it too and it's just like if it's not bringing positivity to the table i really don't care for talking about it it would be different if I, you know me and my girlfriends or something talking about some stuff but as for making videos i don't like doing it but you know if universe want me to do it i'm like hey you know and it's just like but it's a blessing when i can get comments and they're like roslyn you know i really needed to hear that today and it's true you know things are coming to your life to your life you're seeing different things like i was cleaning out my car today and things were like you know what is coming to an end is good news and i was just cleaning out my car i'm like oh you know and it was just like i uh, like lately i've been cleaning a lot of stuff out my house you know a lot of clutter and it's just like you're doing that with yourself but as i was using that as a metaphor you know when you start ripping that off all you start getting these little nasty oil things out of your face and you know blackheads or you know thing and that's what everything is like when you you know your life is like that black 
cold mask that's really painful as heck to get off your face. You got to be careful how you take it off too because I don't see people rip their skin out like, oh Lord. I don't use that on my face, but I'm just using that as a metaphor because I'm like, mm -mm, I care about my face a little bit too much, <laughs> you know, because I know that mess is painful. But that's just like anything we go through in life. There's a lot of times we got to let stuff go and accept people how they are, accept situations for how they are. You need to make peace because you don't need to allow yourself to waste your energy on something that you can't change you really can so it's just like you know even if you try to make you know amends about certain situations and you know people want to tiptoe or people want to avoid you that's when they know they're guilty about stuff because they want to try to avoid things and you know you know, like you know what I'm, i try to make my peace about it you got to just leave it alone you know you try to be that person but there's a lot of times we have to just, you know, walk away from certain situations and just leave it like it is. You know, sometimes we don't need those explanations. Sometimes we don't need that closure. You just need to walk away. And it's just like when we're just dealing with a lot of things and it can really seem worrisome. It can really feel like, you know, is this dark tunnel going to ever end? Yes, it is. But it's, it's how you look at that tunnel while you're dealing with it. It really depends on how you look at it. Because all these things, like I was telling y'all in my first video, a lot of things is only how you have to be able to look at it. Like I tell y'all all the time, we have to be able to step back and look at things for what it is. What are these things trying to teach us? What, you know, if you constantly keep going through it, obviously there's something you're doing wrong and you're not paying attention to it. Because it's like with these situations, what universe is trying to tell us, we've been in these situations for a little bit too long. And it's like the signs are saying right there and you still avoid what the signs are telling you. Because I look at my stuff all the time and it's just like, they be telling me to let it go. I'm like, okay, I will. But you know, did, it, did we just tell you to let that go? <laughs> it's like, you know, I'll be right. I always got to have the last word. And that's it. That Rosalind, that's your problem. You always trying to have the last word. And then we tell y'all that sometimes you need to stop having that last word and just like peace be gone, peace be still. <laughs> peace be still you know and it's just like really crazy you know but like i told y'all you know things going in my life like i had to sit up here and take a break yesterday because after i did them videos the other day you know light was flashing so much in these videos it's like when my energy get crazy because i'm used to doing like seven or eight videos y'all only got four but my my energy was so crazy those four videos just like warped me the heck out you know and it's just like going through all these different changes because i'm really trying to change myself for the better you know we all you have to always take one day at a time it's a daily process to deal with all the stuff you're dealing with and you know if you've been with me for a while you know what i'm dealing with but a lot of times i just don't express that stuff you know because it is what it is you know it's just like anything else in life you start seeing the truer picture on certain things and it really can take you aback you know, especially when you start seeing things for what they are, they can really be painful to do. But it took me a long time to have to be able to see things for what they truly are, not carry anger in my heart. You know, it took a lot for me to be able to do that. I mean, there's times I still cry because I miss the hell out of my father, you know, not being able to communicate with him. But even though I get to do that, I have to, you know, look at all the positive aspects. I can always talk to him. Now, it's like nobody can separate us. You know, I've been separated from him so long, you know, even before... You know, everything that I was suppressing, I knew there was something in my life that was missing. I knew there was something that I forgot about that it, I didn't know. And it really used to upset me because I really wanted to know what that was, you know, and being able to know everything came to the surface, even though, I mean, it, it just like, I'm surprised I ain't the one who flew over the cuckoo's nest <laughs> when all this stuff has happened. But I'm very blessed to be able to, you know, allow myself to be an open book towards certain situations when it comes to my life there's a lot of things i tell y'all it's just like it's a little bit too dark for me to have to really open up and say you know um you know when universe wants me to be vulnerable i be vulnerable so vulnerable i can get you know but there's a lot of things that you know if i don't talk about it and i make amends with it it can be okay you know i can heal with it it just takes a process to have to do but being able to be blessed to be able to use my story be able to let you know you can make peace in your heart there's no you know nobody should walk around being angry you know at the things that has put them in there you know put them in a dark place and i know it could have really put you in a dark place but it's like life is too short 
to be constantly keep focused on those things that's been placed in your life. You know, you have to be able to heal in so many different ways. Allow yourself to know that that wrongdoing that was placed in your life, you know, when you can make peace with it, allow yourself to, you know, you have to pray for folks that has been placed things in your life. You know, I had to really, you know, pray for, you know, my mom's ex-husband and his wife and her, her children that did these things to me. You know, it, it's just like when you can allow jealousy to get in the way of a person, you know, knowing about their, their, their background, their family, you know, I feel like it's the only time I can see somebody not knowing about their family when you're adopted is and left that person would be in danger if they knew. But you know, everything happens for a reason. This, I mean, this situation has taught me a lot. You know, it's taught me a lot because it is, it could have been far worse than what it was. It really could. I mean, basically on my end, because I mean, if I would have took, you know, matters in my own hands, I wouldn't be doing these videos right now. And I'm glad I didn't. You know, there's many a days that I felt like wanting to take things in my own hand and handle people like I wanted to handle them. But, you know, it's just like seeing a lot of people that have took matters in their own, own hands and I'm like, what is this all? You know, if you, you, you know, you take somebody out or whatever, is it going to bring that person back? No, it's not. You're going to still feel the same way even after they're gone. But it's just the fact is the people that have placed you in that situation won't get the message that they need to get out of that lesson that they've been through what they put you through you know I had to really it took me a lot to have to say you know death is too good for people like that you know it goes deeper than that you know this situation has made me so much stronger than I ever thought I can process of being you know it just took me a long time to be able to see that you know um being able to be that brave person to not worry about how people took me you know, what would people think of me? What people believe me? You know, I, I've been through all that. But, you know, I said, at the end of the day, you can still be you. You know, you're the one who had to deal with it, not them. You know, you don't place, you don't want to place this situation on anybody. You know, I never would want anybody to ever go through the things I went through. You know, but it's just like when I can be able to use my situation to be able to help others has been abused it's been neglected uh gone through a lot of misunderstandings in life you know being able to not have that courage to you know um go into their gift you know worried about what people think of them being like your your gift is like an affliction or a mental illness you know there are so many people that have been labeled as being mentally ill because of the gifts that they carry which is very sad to have to endure you know being able to see these things from all sides you know yeah it's a hurtful situation because I don't know what the bigger picture is you know the bigger for me and my bigger picture is that I'm allowing it to heal my heart don't have hatred in my heart you know you have to be forgiving if you know you want love you have to see beyond hatred you know you have to love beyond all measures you know I don't I don't wish anything bad on, on the folks that place these things on me. I just hope they can heal from the things so they don't allow this to keep going on in their family. It's just, for me, they're no no, no more a part of my family than a rat or anything like that. I just feel like, uh, not even, let me just take that back. They're, no, they're just people in my past. I don't really call people like that my family because I feel like true family does never do anything like that to you. They pose to protect you. They're supposed to nurture you, show you what love truly means, you know, especially when you adopt a child. That's that's the one thing, you know, all children should be able to endure. But, you know, not everybody is handed that type of life. You know, I wasn't handed that type of life. But my situation, my tragic situation has taught me growth. It's taught me understanding, you know, seeing things from all different directions, being able to place love in the situation and when I know that I've helped a lot of people with situations they are currently dealing with or they have dealt with gives me peace in my heart to know that this situation had something deeper than it just had to do with me 
you know, my pain, my situation has helped so many people. And like, I can really say, okay, this situation I was placed in. Like I tell y'all, I made videos. It's like, sometimes you had to go through all this hell and back just to be able to help so many other people. And then when you can take yourself out of that equation and not look at it as in self, because that's when ego talks. When I can say, okay, what was my tragic experience supposed to do? You know why was I placed in this but then when I can see all the subscribers that I have being able to know I was helping people and never wanting anything in return is just to see you happy see you healed that's the blessing to me is just to be able to know that you have healed you have been able to let go you you're seeing your strength you're seeing your wisdom you're seeing the knowledge that has placed all that situation because that's all I got from my painful tragedy is love being able to even if it wasn't blood I have family all over the world that I can say hey you know if I step in your city or your country will I be welcomed there you know I see all you know all people from different walks of life being my family because we're all into into this together we're all connected in some kind of way you know we're learning we're growing we're healing we're seeing things for what they truly are and we're surpassing the pain the painful experience being able to know we grew from that you know when you can see somebody has been so damaged those are the people that really love hard you know when you can really see those things for what they truly are and I'm like wow you know my tragic situation has helped so many people you know hundreds and hundreds of people being able to look at their life and say you know I matter my gift will help others as well as myself I will learn so much from the things that's been placed in my life that was supposed to break me was supposed to stop me and when it didn't you know, I tell anybody, if you can endure the situations you have endured and surpassed all that, and you can tell your story to somebody else, that lets you know you are strong. You are really strong because it took a lot for you to actually come out and tell somebody and not looking as you're looking at yourself as a victim but that person that overcome all the tragedies like I tell people you still have that time to heal if you can open up and tell me what happened to you publicly or even to the side that allows me to know you know what you still have that chance to make yourself that best version of yourself to be able to see yourself in a bigger light than you know that dark that dark box that somebody tried to place you in people hurt people that they see that is you know they got this bright light about them I don't know why people want to do that I don't I, you know I don't see from deception I don't see from jealousy or bitterness you know because you can't help who you were placed with you can't help what gift you have you know we've been placed in this human suit <laughs> because we were supposed to help other families heal and you have been placed in the most tragic situation because they already know you're going to heal from it you have to just believe in yourself that you're going to heal from that and it's just like it's like it's really a blessing to me i know y'all probably hear me say this a lot but there's like i said there's new people coming in being able to place my tragedy and being able to place that in somebody's life to be able to look at all the measures like if i'm opening up and telling you the situation that happened about me you know what did to me what kind of mindset they had me in and just being able to know that I gave up addictions I gave up depression you know even though there's sometimes I y'all catch me in that mode where I'm, I'm in my feelings but it's just like I said universe wants me to be vulnerable with you at times to let you know not every day is gonna be perfect not every day is gonna be sunshine and rainbows but long as you know it was just a bad day not a bad life you know it's experience we learn from everything that is placed in our lives we grow from that if you give yourself that chance to believe so i hope you are able to resonate i didn't want the video to be so long but hey the message is the message so let me know if you resonated like and subscribe drop me a line uh share thumbs up uh hit that bell and my post notification goes out to Miss Lisa Williams as well. Much love to you. I hope everything is blessed. Um, and you know what? Get, you go ahead and drop me another line. And I'll and Ray Fisher as well. Uh, and Robert Cole. Much love to you as well too. Um, and I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I pray that each and every one of you get the dreams that you have been working so hard for. It. And it sounds much love and light and positivity as you possibly can because you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way much love peace